architecture. Here we go again to discover and explore an another architectural style in history. I am Mori Opanda and this is Archidox. Britain, or commonly known as the United Kingdom, is located in an island in the North Atlantic of the Northwest coast of Europe. It is a constitutional monarchy with a parliamentary system of governance and first reigned with the Queen Elizabeth I. Balustrades, chimney stacks, facade are enlivened by large mullion oriel and bay windows. Hakopian, it is more on German and Flemish decorative elements. It is tended to be predominate over the French and Italian. Country houses unify the diverse elements of Elizabethan. It is more identifiable style. It is often used of bricks with stone dressings, and it is carved torrents and Flemish gables. Here's Jomelin Bargo to show you some architectural structure of the Tudor and Elizabethan and Hamobia. Henry the Seventh, Lady Chapel. No more obtained lodgings, Henry the Seventh Chapel is the large Lady Chapel at the far eastern end of Westminster Abbey, paid for by the will of Henry the Seventh. It, it was constructed on January 24, 1503. The architectural style was Tudor architecture, perpendicular style. The architects are William Virtue and Robert Virtue. Robert the Younger, the most responsible for the design of much of the structures. The pictures 
of the, the structure is pendant fan ball, grail ball. Nanchot Palace was a Tudor royal palace built by Henry VIII in Surrey, England. It stood for 1538 to 1682. Its site lies in Nanchot Park on the boundaries of the Broad of Epsom and Ewell in Surrey and the London Roads of Sutton. It was constructed on F April 22, 1538. It was closed in 1682. The architectural style of Nanshot Palace is Renaissance design, was built by Henry VIII. Longleat is an English stately home in the set of Mercances of Bath. The architectural style is Elizabethan. It was located in Wilshire, England. The architect is Robert Smithson. Minor House was located in Nairn, Comington, England. It was built on 1504-1610. The architectural style is 16th century hub timber. Little Moriton Hall also know of Old Moriton Hall is muted half timber minor house four miles southwest of Collington in Cherries, England. It was opened on 1570. The architectural style is Tudor architecture. Falkland Palace. The architects are John Kenros, Robert Wirth Scott. The architectural style is Renaissance. It was built in 20th century. The next architectural character is Stuart Commonwealth and Restoration. Inigo Jones, he begins buildings for James and Charles I and introduced into English architecture. Classical style is based. Pure ge geometrical shapes, interrelated proportions, Vitruvian use of correct forms, was seen in the structures. Derived his designs from his visits in Italy and drawing collections and architectural books. He, adjur he adjured the use of composed ornaments made fashionable by Michelangelo except for interiors. John Webb. He is the nephew and pupil of John's. His works, like King Charles' building at Greenwich, shows a remarkable master in a very long 24 facade. The deployment of center and corner pavilions in the facade is partially French, but the language is in Palatian. Roger Pratt designs a houses in a lucidly symmetrical but practical manner introduced the double pile at Call Hills. The facades with large, simple windows, pedimented dormers, and chunky chimneys. This set a new standard in an instantaneous choose classicism. In the period of 1620 and 1660, Buildings are characterized by artisan styles, Dutch gables with curved volutes, pedimented tops, he heavy cornices, hip roofs, the use of brick, wooden frame windows. In the restoration under Chris Wren, he emerges of the one of the greatest figures in English architecture. Rationalized and ge geometrical, increasing influence of Baroque style, structures with giant pilasters and arches. He devised plant types of churches. He used green, Greek cross plan, polygons, simple rectangles, gallery basilicas, complex vaultings, the spires, complex curves perspectival effects. Some of these examples of structures 
is the St. Paul's and Van Kampen's Church. Robert Hook, trusted assistant and college in Royal Society of Christ at Red. Who perpetuated the robust red brick and stone coin associated with Dutch manner. And now, here's Ryan, Lovely, and Raven to show you some examples of structures of Stuart, Commonwealth, and Restoration. Queen's House is located at Greenwich, London, United Kingdom. It is started construction in 1660 and completed in 1625. The architect is Inigo Jones. It has an H-shaped plan and one of the most important buildings in British architectural history. The first consciously classical building in England. The ground behind the Queen's house were used for stadium of the Olympic Games in 2012. The Queen's house itself was used as a VAP center for the game. On Ketting House, Whitehall, it is located at the Westminster, London, United Kingdom. Started in 1619 and completed in 1922. The architects are Inigo Jones, John Swain, Robert Smirk. It is the grandest and best known survivor of the architectural genre of Van Ketting House. The first structure to be completed in the neoclassical style. The design of the banqueting house is classical in concept. Both inside and outside, the main hall is expressed in two levels to allow the balcony which spread around the interior. Jones used the ionic order for the lower columns and pilaster and the Corinthians for those above. The hall is a double building and originally had the plan of a basilica without aisles with a great apes at the far end. Now most unfortunately the ground floor was originally a sort of grotto. It is the first permanent banqueting house at Whitehall. It was built for King James I, but it was destroyed by the fire in January 1690, but immediately replaced and commissioned from the fashionable architect Inigo Jones. Queen's Chapel, St. James Palace. It is located at Malbourg, St. James, London, United Kingdom. It is built between 1623 and 1625. The architect is Inigo Jones. It is one of the facilities of the British monarch personal religious establishments. The chapel was used by Henrietta Maria until the Civil War, later become the home of Danish Church in London. The adjacent private apartments burned down in 1809 and in 1856 to 1857, Malborg Road was built between the place and the Queen's Chapel. As the result of this, the, the physical chapel now appears to be more part of the Malberg House complex rather than the St. James Palace. It became a chapel royal again in 1938. 
St. Paul Covent Garden. It is located at Bedford, St. London, United Kingdom. It is completed in 1633. The architect is Inigo Jones. The exterior was not of bare bricks but rendered with stucco. The arches at the end side of the portico were substantially widened and raised during a restoration in 1878 to 1882 by Henrik Luton. The interior is a single space undivided by fires or columns. Work on the church was completed in 1633. It remained a chapel within the parish of St. Martin in the fields until 1645, when the Covenant Garden was made a separate parish and the church dedicated to St. Paul. In 1789, there was a major restoration of the church under the direction of the architect Thomas Hardwick. On September 1795, the church was burned out by a fire. The church was reconstructed on August 1, 1798. Here is another example of Inno Stewart Covenant restoration. Gulls Hill House Berkshire, created in 1650 and destroyed in 1952. It was designed by Roger Pratt, a wealthy and educated who traveled in France, Italy, and Netherlands in 1643 to 1649. He built five large guest houses and then retired to the house he had designed at Bristol. Gulls Hill House Berkshire as a center of double square plan were the main showroom, the great pa parlor, and magnificent hall with its encircling double wrap stair. These were flanked by the main living room connected by a long corridor which formed the spine of the house. The exterior, with its unevenly spaced window, had a distinguished a triaprat character reminiscent of the Palladio and Jones. The dormer window, roof and balustrade, and the lantern look back to the French architecture, in particular to Mastrand's Balleroy. Created in 1663 to 1664 by Hugh May. You may introduce to England a style based on Dutch 7th, 17th century classicism characterized by the use of red brick and white stone, detailing and almost obligatory pilaster strip. The plan, unlike the elevation, is similar to Pratt's double pile house. Cashaberry Hertfordshire is begun in 1674 and also designed by Yu May. Cashbury House was a country house in Watford, England. It was a notable for being the ancestral seat of the Earl of Essex. Originally a Tudor building dating from 1546 for Sir Richard Marison. It was substantially remodeled in the 17th and the 19th century and ultimately demolished in 1927. Sheldonia Theater in Oxford is created in 1662 to 1631. It was designed by Sir Christopher Wren who came into architecture late having already made a name for himself as a natural philosopher at Oxford where, she, where he was a George Ram Professor of Astronomy. Sheldon Theater was designed by Wren as a hub for his university ceremonies and was modeled on the theater of antiquity. Restricted arches on the lower 
story together with the rounded ear and the heart bark to the such source. Internally, semicircular ears and seats are the focus of the specter attention. Reversing to the antique relationship between the seating and the four senate, the English climate naturally approved but Robert Streeter ceiling painting suggests open the classical model based a logical picture set against an open sky. St. Stephen Warbrook, London. It was built in 1672 to 1687 as one of the most exciting interiors. Though rectangular in plan, it was treated as an essay in centralized planning. The 16 Corinthian columns of the interior are disposed in grid like fashion, and the entablar they carry points in elaborate Greek cross. Above, this cro above these arches cut across the corners, forming an octagon which is in turn support a, a hemispherical dome. The light wood and plaster structure, structure permits window to be inserted easily, creating a luminous interior. St. James Piccadilly, London. It was built in 1676 to 1684. It was drafted after the World War II bomb damage. To be a model city church, the rectangular interior is covered by a wooden bar, barrel bolt, and a button by the transverse bolts of the galleries, which are treated in, as integral parts of the design. Based on Doric fires, and act as a pedestal level for the Corinthian order above. Behind the altar and adapted, the Cerulean motif used earlier by Joseph and the Queen's, and the Queen's Chapel. At St. Mary Lebow, chief site of London, in, it was built in 1670 to 1677. Sir Christopher Wren created his first great classical steeple as with as with earlier Gothic example. This was an adjunct to the main body of the church and housed a French inspired portal in concave nick. The built cry other with pilasters supports a circular columnar tempieto. A second smaller tempieto is reached by flying vortices and wool is crowned by ovelis. The Royal Hospital in Chelsea, London. It was built in 1682 to 1689. It was conceived as a home and hospital for veteran soldiers. An idea derived from the slightly earlier institution in Paris, less in Validez. The artistic model, however, was well planned for a palace at Greenwich. It curved often towards the river as a fragmented portico with a giant altar stopped by Mudum London. The building Oster barrack like quality is, is emphasized by the use of the Doric order. The central entrance portico is bolder than flanking features either side, which are abstracted and flattened, and the resulting change in penetration has unusual results. The entablature sure cause two windows in half flight while the central window breaks through it. The contrast between the tall older and the small windows monumental the size the pocket but the side. And the last architectural character is the Georgian. This is a long and heterogeneous period is most conveniently divided into English Baroque, Palladian, and Neoclassicism. The Gothic Revival grew up alongside the Neoclassical and in its pre-pagan pace was practiced by the same architects. Hawksmoor, Archer, Gibbs, and Van Brook are the architects associated with the English Baroque. The style they developed is marked by a feeling of mass, rhythm, and drama of composition. 
the giant order is de deployed rhythmically to break up great areas of rusticated stonework, keystone project from arches, and the skyline is punctuated by fantastically shaped projections. The planning and general effect are certainly more French than Italian. London churches, which have a massive sculptural geometry, composed of powerful black-like elements that are welded together by a rigorous consistency, with its powerful use of giant tabernacles to articulate the, the side facades. On Palladio Nisi, was is an in a sense, a neoclassical style, and many of its principles were carried over into the more archaeological neoclassicism of the later period in, in 18th and early 19th centuries. For Robert Adam, the study of the ancient bats and of Raphael's revival of imperial Roman ornament was as important as the more exotic resources and the Adam style of painted stucco interior decoration is essentially a rather refined and tasteful version of Raphael's interiors. His use of curves and niches in his interior planning also looks to Raphael and to Burlington as well as their common source, the, the Roman bats. His exteriors give fresh deployment to Hacken antique elements such as the temple front and the triumphal arch and show an appreciation of pictures silhouette which is easily reclothed in gothic forms. In, in neoclassical, the brand of antiquarianism blended into true going Greek revival where the pictures mediabilism was to become in the next generation a more ideological gothic revival. Arctic architects like Nash, Wilkins, and Smirk practice in both of these styles, as well as others. Although the, the most original architect of the period, John Soen, avoided the gothic. That's, That's all for British architecture! Hope you learned something about this architectural style. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. And this is Archidox.